The big question in Illinois government this year has been whether the temporary income tax increase of 2011 should expire as scheduled at year's end. But do Illinois taxpayers really understand what kind of government they get at any tax rate? State Representative Scott Drury believes years of budget tricks and gimmicks have deceived taxpayers about the true cost of Illinois state the government. The public should get the government is willing to pay for it. When we have all this borrowing and all of these tricks, we're not really paying for the government we want. And so the question comes, do we really want all of that government or, or do we not? People need to see reality and then we can make real decisions. But we always make, make it seem better than it is because in the end we always seem to come up with a way to pay for it and, and push it off to our kids. How has Illinois hidden the true cost of government? For years, lawmakers routinely made insufficient payments to the state's pension systems and put the money into the General Revenue Fund. In 2013, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged the state with fraud for this practice. Illinois has leaned heavily on gambling, but Crane's Chicago Business reports that gambling revenue for the state in 2013 was down 35 percent from 2007, despite more gambling options than ever. The latest budget, for the fiscal year that begins July 1, 2014, borrows hundreds of millions of dollars from dedicated state funds that will have to be reimbursed when the 2016 budget is created next year. Should Illinois raise its taxes to do that? Maybe it's time for Illinois to see what kind of government it really can afford at any tax rate. For Reboot Illinois, I'm Matt Dietrich, and that's your 90-second drill.